Good morning and welcome to this HTML5 course. We're going to see how to validate your code. To see if you have any errors, you can very well see it directly on your text editor. For example, we say earlier that if I put a space where it shouldn't be and all I have my coloring that will change, so there everything becomes white, whereas before it was colored. So you see, when it's colored, it didn't know it's good. If you see that the coloring changes, it's because you have an error somewhere. In the same way, we have a console. So if I click on it, you can see. So if you ever have any problems, they will be displayed here. We can also have our code validated by a seed called W3C. So here you can have your seed validated have by the URL. So if you have already hosted your site, you will only have to put it the URL to validate and show your site. You can very well upload your file directly or then put your code directly. For example, we will try to upload our file. So you will click on choose a file and there we will directly retrieve your file that we use. So for me, it is syntax point HTML. So we select it and we click on check. So there you see, we telling me that I have errors. We will see, for example, here the third error is an error on my EMG tag because I didn't put the alt attribute. So we will see a little later what is the attribute, but this way you can see your errors. We can also come directly and copy our code here. So for example, we will try to copy our code. I will remove my children here on purpose and I'll do a check. So we will see our errors now and you can see that it tells me that on line 8 I have an error and that I'm missing a children in my input required. Now if I had it, and I check, I don't have this error anymore. So here are the ways to validate your errors to check if you have any. And then here you can very well check your errors once you go on the running of your site anyway your errors will be displayed. It is not necessary to check every half hour on the W3C site. So that's it for the code validation.